Without further delay, I introduce you to our first speaker who will talk to us about uh, preventing vandalism. An applause for our speaker, please.
what does it look like for all of us to work and build more tools uh, around the stuff? Let's take care of the map. Thank you. Thank you for a very interesting uh, and motivational presentations. Any questions for the speaker from the audience? Hi. Um, how big is the team right now, and how many people will it be in five years? Uh, on and off, I think every day about five to six people um, look at about 50 to 60 chain sets every day. First question is just, what was the website for real time, for real time, uh, this map, the first map? Yeah. And, and second um, question, is there a list of those uh, uh, suspicious words? Is there, is there a, a list you can uh, point me to? Yeah, so of the um, words? if you go to osmchar.mapbox.com, you can see the list of suspicious chain sets and the uh, the visualization of the live chain sets so called mapbox.com slash mapbeat. Um, we haven't tested it really for load, so I don't know if it will break, but if it does, let me know. Lou, when you use uh, QA tools, uh, how do you stop um, making fixes that uh, uh, make the QA problem go away but aren't actually the right mapping? Uh, sorry, let me try. If, let me see if I understand that right. I use, so the question is, when we make fixes in OpenStreetMap, how do we make sure the problem go away? Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, mm. so, so, just to make sure that the bad mapping goes away and not just uh, stops report being reported by the curators. Oh, so, okay, is it kind of the engagement with the, yeah. oh, right. Um, yeah, so there are only very few cases we actually revert the chain sets. Um, most often we make a chain set comment that talks about, okay, hey, welcome to OpenStreetMap. This is why this may not be a good idea to do it this way, and here are some recommendations and guides that you can follow. And we, we recently wrote a diary post about what, what is the amount of time that we wait to get a response from a user to go in and fix that ourselves. And there are a lot of discussions around that. Uh, we don't think we have an answer yet, but we don't immediately go in and revert any chain set. Try to engage in that conversation. Um, do you think there's a fear that, so this is Mapbox doing it as a company, do you think there's a fear, and how do you resolve this, that Mapbox and other companies, I'm, I'm not saying it's just Mapbox, but people, companies will start doing the QA and then the individuals will think they don't need to do any personal QA? I think... How can we help that? I've, over the course of the last day, like, I've been at Hot Summit as well as the, yesterday at State of the Map. Um, and this week I've had many conversations with people about what they think about uh, validating the map. And many people are doing this. Um, I don't know, Ethan from the DWG made a lightning talk yesterday about how he is envisioning some of the tools. I know Telly Nav is invested in uh, improve OSM and that sort of work. Um, DWG is certainly thinking about the ways that they can collaborate better. Um, so I don't think it's, a, it's the effort by a single small group of people versus an individual. Uh, we make the map, we might as well take care of it, right? Thanks for your talk. Uh, it's great to see these tools being developed. Uh, Martin from Cycle Streets. Um, one of the things that I see a lot is, is not so much deliberate vandalism, but, but users who don't understand routability concepts, particularly things like we see a lot of cycleways alongside roads that don't properly connect to side roads. And there are obviously things that automated tools such as Keepright, which we, we use a lot and which is fantastic, um, can pick up. My question really is, um, what movement is there um, 
maybe this is not so much for you exactly, but for the rest of the community, um, to, to get some of these tools embedded properly in ID, because I think things like you know fixing uh, connectivity problems, they're the kinds of things that with more visibility directly in the editors, we could get fixed up a lot, a lot quicker. Right. Um, so Jossum has a validator that's within Jossum, which does a pretty good job of kind of notifying. But what we found out that a lot of people didn't know that existed in Jossum, right? Um, so we, we, we try to like communicate that as much. Um, this is a conversation that I'm interested in having. And uh, the fix that we made in ID is very simple. Uh, and that sort of interface and changes make a lot of things much easier. And come to the BAF, and I'm, I'm interested in the ways that we can collaborate. Any more questions? So this is a little bit of a tangent, but I'm, I'm curious how you guys deal with um, disputes, you know, like border disputes and things like that, particularly things that are more kind of at the community level rather than big international processes. How do you, how do you, how do you approach those? Uh, I don't think we do that as a team. Uh, when we see stuff like that, we uh, involve the DWG, and that's kind of the function that DWG exists for. Um, and from the conversations that I've had with folks on the DWG, um, it sounds to me that they're trying to actually deal with people problems and not data problems, right? Uh, so when someone's trying to say that, okay, I know this is right, versus someone else is like, go away, what are you saying, right? So sort of like managing that expectation between, um, between mappers within this ecosystem. But there aren't so many of those happening, um, which, is, which brings me to the point that um, like, I would really love to see DWG write and talk about a lot of these things that they come across as well. Um, we write weekly reports, and I know that there's a, a certain amount of co time commitment that goes into this, but we're happy to help. Hello. My name is Michael. I Actually, I've, I happen to have been in uh, countries where you have border disputes, and I did not really answer. If I'm under I did not understand your answer. I, I, I uh, so can you, could you, could you just, ex yeah. what I was saying could is just that expand on this to, right. so we can, because yeah, I mean, it's real, um, and you have many problems, local problems uh, between, you know, two sides of a border in Afghanistan, in the Balkans, I mean, in so many places. And so, uh, you know, what is the standard that you use to follow up on this question? What is the standard you use to fix this? Sorry. So, I think that's more of a decision that DWG makes um, in terms of how they want to manage uh, the dispute between two individuals in the community. Uh, my answer was that we don't, if we notice that happen, our response would be to send a report to DWG, making them aware of that this is happening. And that's more of our role and not get involved in trying to fix that issue between those individuals. What is DWG? Uh, DWG is the OpenStreetMap Data Working Group. Uh, they're part of the foundation and do a pretty amazing job in making sure conflicts um, don't happen in OpenStreetMap. We have time for one last question, if there is any. If there are none, then let's thank our speaker again for the contribution. Thank you.